what is up virgo welcome to your general timeless reading these are timeless so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you these are also general so please check out your sun moon rising venus and jupiter placement on my channel if you want to sign up for Patreon, I am doing a promo where you get a free 15 minute reading if you are a tier two or three patron only now through March 15th, 2021. So go ahead, check that out. If you want a personal reading or Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below through my website in the description box. I'm a master Reiki practitioner. So if you want to see reviews, go ahead, check them out on Google. They are linked on my website for you guys. Other than that, like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Check out how to interpret tarot as a viewer down below and let's get into it virgo let's see what's going on for you guys i've missed you my virgos my beautiful virgos my gentle gentle virgos let's see how that full moon treat you because you done did the collective a little dirty yeah you did yeah you did i'm gonna call you out mm-hmm 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 <laughs> that was a doozy. Virgo came in and was like, I'm about to fuck shit up real quick. I don't know how I felt about that. We're going to have to talk about that one day. I might go live. I might go live and we might talk about that because that full moon was a little nasty. It still is a little nasty. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I won't hold it against you. Is what it is. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. Oh, okay. Who's coming in around you? We got new soul tribe. No, they're not new. They are not new. Virgo said, no, they're not new, but I'd like them to go. I'd like them to leave. How do I get them to leave? <laughs> I've been trying to get them to go away, Jordan. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> How do I get them to go away? <laughs> I'm trying to be nice, but my patience is growing thin. <laughs> I have things I need to get done. <laughs> Eight of Cups. How do I get the F away? <laughs> How do I walk away? Because I am at my last cup. <laughs> <laughs> They're draining. <laughs> oh, Virgo, you're funny. <laughs> oh, I recommend getting some Peridot. Peridot, um, they keep drawing me over to, I have like the smallest Peridot crystal on the planet. It is like itty bitty, teeny tiny, little itty bitty tiny crystal of Peridot, yeah. I'd suggest investing in a larger crystal peridot. Don't do what I did, but the tower. Yeah, you're like, seriously, Jordan, I just want the foundation I have with this person to come crumbling down. Can you please remove them from my environment? Because they're, they feel, they kind of feel like, um, they keep playing that country song stuck like glue <laughs> in my head. Um, I feel like this person's gravitating toward you though because you're of a higher frequency and it's almost like you don't have the patience for them because it's okay one let me preface this with one frequency is not better than another just because you're at a higher frequency does not make you superior to another individual we're all on our own path we all are on our own journey you were at that frequency at one point i was at that frequency at one point we all hold space for each other in the collective that is our purpose here on this journey right so let's all humble ourselves real quick knock everybody's ass off a pedestal bing 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 right nobody's on any pedestal here not on this channel we're all we are all on our own path, on our own timeline. One, right? Okay? I know this person's getting on your nerves. I know you really want them gone. It's just the fact that they're gravitating toward you because your frequency's higher. And it's almost like they're seeking a teacher from you. They're seeking, it's, I honestly feel like they're, they're standing on land, but they feel like they're drowning. It's kind of that kind of energy. They might not verbally say that because I feel like they come across as very cocky, very confident and it's almost like they're trying to be playful with you it's kind of a silent cry for help it is um and if you're getting irritated by their energy please be mindful that this person's actually 
internally they're actually really struggling um they're struggling and they don't know how to express it though because that's their that's their shadow coming out they're actually really uncomfortable okay these are these are directly horizontal i don't know how to take these strength in reverse nine of pentacles in reverse and seven of Pe seven of wands in reverse so this is the person you're dealing with not only are they completely dealing with massive insecurity they're not grounded but they're actually really guarded and defensive which is why they're coming off with this very like cocky playful energy it's because showing that insecurity that they have right now is to them vulnerability is a sign of weakness right because they haven't achieved again the higher frequency they haven't achieved that but it doesn't mean that they are not up to par right they aren't it's not that they are not because I feel ego. I do feel ego with this individual. Like, well, I'm better than you. I'm not saying that you feel that way, but I do feel pockets of the collective that are dealing with that part in the ascension process. Because we all go through it. As we ascend on the spiritual path, there is going to be that trigger in the ego that's like, well, I'm ascended and you're down there, right? Like everybody goes through it. It is natural. It is natural. But I just want you guys to be mindful of it. Remember that at one point, you were this annoying person. I was this annoying person. We are all this annoying person at one point on this path, okay? It's just the nature of the game. It is. It is, it is, it is, right? And maybe in this reading, you are the annoying person and you're doing this to somebody else. Plot twist. Ding, 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 ding. Okay? <laughs> um, but just be mindful of that, right? Because everybody's on this journey. We all do it. We all do it. Queen of Cups in reverse. Here you are getting irritated. <laughs> and you're like... <laughs> Five of Swords in reverse. <laughs> Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. I have no space to hold for this person. They're irritating me. I don't want to give them the time of day. I just want the shit to move forward. Can the wheel spin, please? <laughs> Bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles. I don't want to invest a dang part of my soul into this connection. Page of cups in reverse. So there's like a little bit of resentment here. And with the hangman, there's a need for a new perspective because you're working out of your shadow. They're triggering your ego. Oh, they're triggering the ego. There's the devil. Queen of Pentacles is underneath that. Very ungrounded maternal energy. Queen of Cups, because they're gravitating toward you because you're a Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. You're that very maternal, grounded, motherly, nurturing energy naturally. But right now, they're triggering the F out of your shadow. This is the devil, right? You're like, Jordan. I don't want them around me. I'm tired. I am tired. I need my energy from myself. This full moon in Virgo really got me. It's peaking my energy and I'm just getting a little impatient, a little stressed out, a little overwhelmed because it's my time to purge some heavy shit and I can't be taking on other people's heavy shit and this person's coming to me with some heavy shit and I don't got time for it. This is the heavy shit that you're supposed to be purging though. It is the lesson of learning to balance external with internal. Mm. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's, it's, it's hard. It is hard. It is hard because you're learning, you're learning that there is always enough time and enough space to hold space and time for love, for other people, and for self, always. Regardless of what side of the bed we wake up on and what time of the month it may be, right? Full moon, menstrual cycle, cycles are always happening. D don't matter. Don't matter, it really don't matter. Just, um, I got no shame. No shame on my channel, I'll talk about freaking anything. Um, but there's a need to always hold space for yourself, but understand that other people are also going through struggles. And if you are here on this path, on this journey, and once you start it, you ain't, you ain't hopping off. You on the wheel. You on the wheel, honey. We're on the wheel together. It ain't gonna stop rolling. <laughs> I promise you there's been times where I'm like, can I, can I get off this path? And then I have a dream and I'm like, oh, oh, you're never gonna, no, we can't. Oh, hmm. I don't stop spinning okay i see that now <laughs> um 
And that's a beautiful thing, though, because that means you're constantly always going to be evolving. And that's, that's why your soul chose it, though. And part of that evolution, though, is learning that as you evolve, you're helping others evolve. It's a domino effect. This person is crossing your path because you're supposed to help their domino. Help another person's domino. To help that domino. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So, let's look at the devil. Let's just start with the devil. Let's get, a, let's get a few good shuffles in here. I know they're triggering you. I know it's irritating, but I don't feel them sticking around very long. I really don't. I think it's just for you to be mindful that even when you're going through a struggle, even when you want to have your space, there is still a need to hold space for others while protecting your energy. There's a nice balance to be found. And you're learn you need to learn that balance without falling into your shadow, without without letting the ego and anger and resentment irritation to get the best of you, right? Let's look at the devil. The moon distortion. Distortion. You got a little bit of illusion going on here. It's also questioning where your loyalties lie. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to continue on this path, Jordan. I don't know if I want to keep doing this spiritual crap no more because this is irritating. <laughs> Magician in reverse in the chariot. Can I change directions? Can we move this chariot around? Can we, can we turn it that way? Can I go home? Can we just backtrack like two years before Saturn went into Aquarius? <laughs> Maybe before December. Just, just December, November. Before the great conjunction happened and everything got really freaking intense. <laughs> nope, can't do it. You're on it now. Buckle up, Buttercup. We in this together. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> Chariots, Cancer energy, the magicians, Gemini, Virgo energy, and the moon is... Um, why am I blanking right now? I almost said Cancer again, which Cancer does rule the moon, but it's Pisces energy. And the devil. Wow, you have four majors here. Capricorn energy. Capricorn rules Saturn. Pisces, the moon. Chariot, Cancer, the moon. Again, Magician, Mercurial, Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. Mercury just went into Gemini. And the moon is in Virgo right now. And Pluto is in Capricorn right now. No, Pluto is in... Pluto, where are you, Pluto? Pluto, Pluto. Let's see where Pluto is. Is it in Capricorn? I don't believe it is. Chart for now. Date and time. Sorry guys, I really I really want to see this. I don't think it's in it's not in Capricorn. Let's see. Aspects. Zodiac. Pluto, Capricorn. Oh, look at me go. Oh, it's at 26 degrees. Of course it would. My 12th house. Ain't that beautiful? Ain't that a beautiful thing? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, let's look at the tower. Let's look at the tower. Let's see, let's see this big old transformation that you're going through and why why you're a little bit testy. Oh, the lovers. Oh dynamics oh look at all these majors you're getting i'm not going to take the rest of these because they just don't feel right so you got the lovers more gemini energy mars goes into gemini on the third right what's on my whiteboard over there gemini march 3rd yes the tower the same card wants to come out great queen of wands in reverse death again which is Scorpio, Pluto energy, and the Queen of Cups. Look at you, you're just a Queen of Cups in reverse all over the place. And you're frustrated, and you're pissed off. <laughs> you're feminine energy, you're like, I don't wanna nurture anybody but myself. I wanna be up in my little cocoon right now, going through my transformation, working on my own distorted feminine energy, working on holding space for myself and holding space for others, because apparently I gotta do that, because Jordan says so. Because I gotta learn how to have a little compassion in my dynamics and learn how to balance that shit out. Because right now, I really don't want to be loving anybody but myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you're you're a little testy you're definitely a little testy right now that's okay though it's okay because that full moon in virgo was all about releasing toxic habits in regards to connections it was about releasing um habits belief systems ways of communicating perspectives that no longer served us deep 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 instilled programming so if you had a tendency to look at people in a way that was like you're taking my time and energy from me and i need it because i'm vitally important in order to get this project done right now and i, I can't give it to you there's a, this universe is screaming like hey you can find balance you can still have this person in your life and talk to them and still get that done say okay so let's look at this person let's look at the nine of pentacles probably a page a Knight of Cups in reverse. <laughs> You're very resistant to them. But they're also um, they're a little emotionally immature. Like I said, they feel like a little, they do feel like a little kid. Knight of Cups in reverse it does say to me a little bit. Ten of Wands. Oh. Yeah, they're really struggling. They are coming toward you like a mother energy. <clears throat> Nine of Swords, yeah. There's that anxiety, that fear. Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Swords. Because they don't know they don't know where to go. They're coming to you because they want your help. They want your help, your enlightenment, the sun, right? Illumination to move forward and help them restore balance because they're currently going through their own tower moment as well. Right? They're going through their own transformation and they feel very lost. Not saying that it's your, your responsibility, but they see that you've already gone through a process like this that's very similar. And they're kind of like, hey, um, this is my cry for help. I can't directly say that though, because that makes me feel really insecure and weak because I'm used to being able to pursue things on my own. But as of right now, I feel really lost emotionally, mentally, practically, and I don't know how to pursue this. And it's becoming a really big burden. So can you please help me? Because I, I feel really insecure right now going through this tower moment. And they they won't verbally say this. They're gonna they're gonna jokingly and a little cocky like come over and play. It might be irritating you, and you're like just go away, leave me alone. But they're not verbally saying like it's a it's a cry for help. It is. So let's look at you, Queen of Cups, Two of Swords in reverse. <laughs> you're like nope, no way in hell. Leave me alone. <laughs> Three of Wands. I'm not here to help you find your ships. I'm not here to be your North Star. I have my own things I need to focus on. Toodaloo. I, I don't think everybody's that cold, but it feels like that. Like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, anyway, I need to get back to work. <laughs> Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune. I wanna see what you're looking to, what the change needs to be here. This feels like the change in the dynamic that needs to take place. I'll take that one. Five of Wands. I just heard short term shuffle, which kind of to me feels like a compromise. I don't know why it feels like compromise, but it does like short term. Yeah, 10 of Cups in reverse, two of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles. Between the 10, and the two is the eight of cups. And remember, you had the eight of cups. Short-term shuffle, right? It, it's, it kind of, to me, feels like a retreat. Like, okay, let me just, like, shuffle on back. Let me just short-term help them out, get them through this obstacle. Because they're really determined. They're going through all the struggle right now. Even though they're, they're not letting me go, four pentacles, they're really holding on to me. The change that needs to happen here is almost like learning to protect your energy four of pentacles, but also working with others. Three of pentacles, okay? Let's look at the hangman. I wanna see what the new perspective needs to be. And I think that's where I'm gonna end it because this is pretty, this is a really big spread. Page of swords, yeah. Understanding that they just wanna be a student. Yeah, nine of pentacles and the knight of wands and the hierophant. They literally are looking to you as their teacher, as their guru, because the hierophant is the card of the guru. They're the nine of pentacles. Pages are students and the Knight of Wands, they are the Knight, right? They just want to move forward. They want to move forward on their path. They're coming to you for guidance. They're, it's nothing more than that. It's not like they're trying to come to you to irritate you, to bother you. It's literally, they're, it's a call for help. Like, hey, please help me. I don't know how to voice it like that. So I'm just going to irritate the F out of you until like you get the hint because 
my ego is getting in the way and I haven't integrated it all the way and I see that you're a little more ascended, but you're going through your own integration. So this is teaching you how to find balance because that's part of integrating your shadow. So it's not that they're here to come to you just as a teacher. They're actually part of your lesson of integrating your shadow. So by helping them, it's going to help you integrate your shadow and it's also going to help them evolve. It's kind of like two birds, one stone kind of thing. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles, the hermit and the nine of cups. Some of you are still going to dip out. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Some of you are going to be like, I really don't want to deal with this. I'm going to be much happier doing something else. <laughs> and you're going to be like, you got it. You keep your head up buttercup. You got this soldier. <laughs> you kind of just like leave them hanging. And they're going to be like, what? And you're going to be the Empress Gone Cold. D distorted feminine energy. And you're going to have some more shadow to integrate still. Okay? Because this, this tells me that you're sitting in your shadow energy still. Okay? So you have a choice. You have a choice. But this is what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I know I did. This was a really fun reading for me to do. I love readings like this that are like spiritual but 3D at the same time. It's kind of like a limbo reading. That's what I call them. Um, but I love you. If you want a personal reading or Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below. Check out Patreon if you want a free 15 minute reading as a tier two or three patron that's new to sign up between now and March 15th. Other than that, like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, helps the channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.